This bill involves a very narrow and specific issue, that of allowing persons who are 16 or 17 and who hold a valid motor vehicle operator's license and who are members of a fire department, an ambulance service, or an emergency medical service organization to take part in emergency events by driving to these events themselves, taking passengers with them who are also involved in in the emergency event, and specifically bringing those passengers back to wherever they were picked up initially. I've had members of emergency services in my district complain to me that fire cadets who respond to an emergency event and leave school to assist the event with other cadets in the car with them are not allowed to bring those passenger cadets back to school when the emergency event is over. Connecticut General Statute Section 14-36G describes the parameters involving those drivers who are 16 or 17 and who belong to an emergency service organization and they're driving to emergency events. In subsection B of that section of 14-36G, an exemption is set out for these young drivers to be allowed to drive to these emergency events and take passengers, probably other members of this emergency service organization, to that emergency event. Subsection B is, however, silent about whether those same drivers can then transport their passengers back to the origination point after the emergency event is over. This bill asks that the statutes be amended to specifically allow under the subsection B that those drivers can transport their passengers back to the origination point after the emergency event is over. A suggested remedy would be to add to the existing subsection the words or returning therefrom such that the subsection might read in part, a person who holds a motor vehicle operator's license and who is 16 or 17 years of age shall not be subject to the restrictions if such person is responding to the emergency or returning therefrom.